I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Hi, I'm Kirby Allison. In today's video, I'm excited to launch the first in a series of London update videos where we travel to London remotely uh, to visit some of our good friends that we've been unable to personally visit during the coronavirus uh, travel lockdowns. In our first video in this series, it couldn't be more appropriate for us to go to Davidoff of London, of course, situated right there on the corner of St. James's and German streets. Uh, it is a ritualistically uh, one of the first places I visit every single time I travel to London. Of course, Edward and Eddie Sahakian are two close, dear friends friends that I miss tremendously during this time, uh, but it's so nice to be able to check in with them virtually and hear how they're doing. Now, they were very generous to allow us in after hours, and they brought up some really special humidors from their reserve collection uh, to show all of us on this video. After visiting with the Sahakians, I was able to go just right down the street uh, to number nine St. James's to check in with Nicholas Lobb of John Lobb. Uh, we went back up to German Street uh, to visit with Anthony at Edward Green before going through the Piccadilly Arcade, of course, one of my favorite places, to visit with Mr. Rowley of Bud Shirtmakers and Oliver Cross at Benson & Clegg. Next, we headed across the Piccadilly uh, to Savile Row, uh, where I was able to check in with Tony Gaziano at Gaziano & Gerling, Joe Morgan at Chittleborough & Morgan, Campbell Carey at Huntsman & Sons, Simon Cundy at Henry Poole, Colin Haywood at Anderson and & Shepherd, and Dominic Casey. I have to say it was very nice, especially during these very difficult times, to check in and hear just how well all of these British heritage firms are doing and how they're all adapting and persevering uh, through what are some of the most difficult circumstances they've encountered uh, in decades. Join us on this London Update series as we transport ourselves across the pond to check in with some of our good friends and hear how they're doing. I think one of my, my primary concerns is that uh, before I get back, you know, all the Londoners are going to smoke all the cigars and, uh, you know, run the humidors dry. Um, but, you know, how have things been? I mean, how have you guys, you know, been able to adapt, do things a little bit differently, uh, just kind of in these, in these times? 